Hi, it's Laura from One Girl, Two Cities, and I'm here today with... Hi, I'm Casey. I'm from the blog Two City Vegans. So, for the very first time, I ordered a Vegan Cuts snack box. Um, they were doing a special for their birthday where it was $19 a month. Um, so I did a six, I think I did a six month subscription. Um, so I got my first one. So we're going to unbox it today and see what we got. So. Yay. so each of them comes with their snack box card and it will list everything that's in the box, which is pretty cool. So what do you want to start with? Um, I don't care. Go for the top, maybe? Um, yeah. Maybe the two things that are kind of the same. Yeah. So these are pop chips, potato um, chips, I guess, with ridges, um, salted. Um, never fried, always real. Um, I haven't had these. Have you had them? I have not. I know you've had some of those. I haven't had most of what's in here. I know. I feel like a lot of this stuff is new. So. Do we want to just try it? Yeah, let's give them a try. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Benji, my aunt, he's joining Benji. us today. Oh, Benji. Say hi, Benji. All right, I'll get that. Oh, shoot. Okay, mm -hmm. that one's yours. <laughs> that one's mine. Okay. Oh, so this is what they look like. Yeah, they look like pretty standard potato chips. Just a little, like, more. Ooh, I like that crunch. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Yeah, they're nice and light. And Benji would like one. <laughs> they are. I like the texture a lot. Mm-hmm. What is it? I assume potato. Or what is it? Yeah, potato. Yeah, just potato, rice flour, and sunflower and safflower oil. Safflower. Mm -hmm. I like it. Do you want to do ratings or no? Oh, I don't know. I don't care. We don't need to do ratings okay. on this one. They're good though. Yeah. I would buy them. I probably wouldn't buy them because I don't usually do like plain yeah, potato chips. I don't I do. buy chips a lot. I'll admit, I really like bean fields. Um, I like it. Yeah, yeah. I, I buy chips a lot. I would buy them. Probably. And then another snacky thing. Well, they're all snackies, but popcorn. Um, teeny this tiny popcorn. The cheddar variety. So. Which is vegan, which is yeah. nice. Did you so, see yeah. they're also like a brother sister duo? Like a reverse Aww. butcher? Isn't that cute? Cool. Yeah, they have a cute little story on the back of their bag, which I kind of appreciate. Yeah. So, yeah. That's good. I like their um, branding. Yeah, a lot. it's all um, non GMO popcorn. It says, do not microwave this bag. You just, you just eat it <laughs> just so like you know. it is. <laughs> it's so. already. Yeah. All right. And it's certified gluten-free. Um, I'm going to go right the corner. Yeah. There we go. I was trying to avoid I'm that. I'm excited. Cheddar. I know. Like, I'm still waiting for like a cheddar, like mm. vegan Dorito. Smell. I can't, I can't smell. I have no sense of smell. Oh, yeah. Gosh. But I'll, I'll it get smells some. very cheesy. <laughs> They're a little orange. I don't know if you can see or not, but they're a little orange. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like they smell cheesier than they taste cheesy. They're so tiny, you have to eat a lot. Yeah, there's not much of a cheesy flavor. They taste good, but... Yeah. Like, they're a little bland. A little at first. I mean, you kind of get a hint of whatever the seasoning is, but it, they're not yeah. bad. Hmm. I like the truffle kind better. Which, yeah. Which I've had. It's like a truffle oil. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah. That was popcorn. Yum. Um, there's a... I don't really know what this... It's like a shake you make? Oh, it's a Zumba shake thing. Which, I guess we can't do that, but... Yeah, we won't be making this. Yeah, so you would mix it with water or milk. And they put milk in quotation marks that make a recommendation of almond milk, which is nice. Awesome. Yeah, so do it in a blender with ice. Sounds good. La Vida Mocha flavor. So I guess chocolate and... Um, coffee. Also gluten free. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the stuff is gluten free. Which... Yeah, and a lot of protein. Mm -hmm. And just one gram of sugar. That's so cool. Yeah, what are the ingredients in it then? There's a lot of ingredients. Um, oh, pea protein. Okay, but, so but mostly like nothing too crazy. Like pea protein and um, like stevia and then a bunch of veg, like I guess some sort of a powdered veggies. Okay, I made a face at stevia. I don't like the stevia taste. I don't. I haven't had it enough. I think we saw something at J. Selby's mm. with stevia in it. That's okay. I can tell it tastes kind of chemically. Yeah, um, and so it also has monk fruit in it, which kind of has you, the same taste yeah. as stevia. So I don't know. I haven't had that. I've heard of it, but I don't really like that they put both of them in that. Then yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I'll have to let me know how it is. Yeah. I can probably tell you already. <laughs> <laughs> not very good. So let's go to something I have had that I really like. Um, oh, I have not had that. It's this. these coffee bars. It's a mocha latte coffee bar. I'm going to sneeze here in just a second, so forgive me. 
Um, I tried these at the Natural Products Expo West, oh, and basically they have a cup of coffee in each oh, wow. bar, which is excellent. It's I mean, fair trade jittery. coffee, it's organic, vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO. It's really great. That's awesome. And I like that um, like their little catchphrase is, eat your coffee. Yeah, which I would prefer to do, because yeah. I don't like to drink coffee. <laughs> Did you want to open it or no? Are you going to try it? I would try it, yeah. Okay, then you yeah, can try you're it. fine with it. So I, um, I do like coffee and things, but not like yeah. coffee to drink because it's disgusting. No offense. <laughs> and I'll lovers. drink coffee all day long, so. That's good. It's not too coffee. Just a little bit. Yeah. There's the, the chocolate in it. It's really good. It's a nice flavor. I think there's chocolate in it. It's mocha latte, so. It's really good. It has a good texture. What is the... Oh, dates. So kind of like a lar bar with a bit more ingredients. It's really good, yeah. Cool. Buy that. Good, I'm glad you like it. So actually, I think it is actually just called Eat Your Coffee. Oh, the That's brand? That's the company oh, name. Cool. Yeah, so like on Instagram and Twitter, it's at Eat Your Coffee. I have oh, one of those nice. stickers on my laptop. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's actually really, really good, actually. Like, yeah, I'm glad you like it. Well, I'm going to eat the rest of it later. Yes, please do. <laughs> <laughs> you need um, a boost. Let's see here. So this is a tea. It's from Runa, and it's an unsweetened guava. It looks really good. There aren't any calories in it. So it's just brewed organic something. I don't know how to pronounce that word. <laughs> it's I don't know either. Gaiusa or something. Um, and then organic. Oh, it tells you how to say it right here. Oh. Gua <laughs> I'm sorry. Guayusa. You were close. I was. That's a fun word. So it's a rare tea from the Amazon. Hmm. It says it has more caffeine and polyphenols than most teas, so you get a boost of mental clarity and focus. Hmm. I like guava. Yusa. Okay, so yeah, so that's what's in it, and then it's organic pear juice, guava flavor, and then a couple, just some flavoring and stuff. Um, so yeah, it sounds really good. I'm going to try this Yeah, one. go for it. Good. Yeah, it smells good. Really fruity. It tastes good. Oh, it's got a nice light flavor. If you're not a germaphobe, I'll turn it off. <laughs> it's really subtle. And it's really nice. It and is. It reminds me. Sweet. Yeah, it is good. And it, it's a little sweet. It isn't like being, being from the south. I usually like sweet tea, <laughs> and there's just enough sweetness in that that I would I would drink it. Yeah. And sweet. not want to add anything or add any sweetener. Awesome. What do you think, Benji? It's like, I'll take anything you give me. He's probably going to lick the <laughs> bottle. I want to hear you talk about this one. Okay, sure. This is um, Jambalaya Mix um, from Crimsy's um, Cajun Kitchen. It's vegan, soy-free, gluten-free, oil-free, and nut-free. So that's pretty good. Wow. Um, excuse me. They suggest that you um, add in black beans or sausage, which I think a reverse butcher sausage would be super good in it. Oh, yeah. Um, pretty standard ingredients. Nothing too crazy. Um, hey, and it looks like it's <laughs> it looks like it's a pretty <laughs> Benji likes the pipcorn, yeah. so it's now dog endorsed. It looks like it's um, <laughs> pretty easy to make too, um, super super easy. Um, it's and probably water, good. Basically. Yeah, basically with water, that's nice. all you need. And then suggested add add ends of black eyed peas or red beans. It's my kind of sausage. cooking. <laughs> yeah, me too, especially when you're busy. Um, but yeah, and I think everything's already in here. Like, there's not even like a separate package for the spices. I just think it's already mixed in there with the rice and whatnot. So, and this would make a pretty good serving size. Yeah, it looks for like being, a good for, for a being a, yeah, for it being a yeah, for being a like a sample. Yeah, especially because it's I mean it's rice, so obviously yeah, rice gonna takes in so bigger. much water. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yum. And then this sounds kind of cool. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm curious about this. <laughs> a little How, skeptical. It's drinkable soup. Does so, it suggest I mean, you heat it up or anything? I guess or? that's what you do with soup anyway, but it's an organic and vegan sweet potato and red lentil with cinnamon, which that does sound really good. Very fun. Um, let's see here. Yeah. It says refrigerate and consume within two days after opening. Um, no, I think you just drink it as is. Yeah. And it's yeah. Tetra Pak, so you don't have to worry about it refrigerating it before you open it, which is nice. Okay. So yeah, it's organic, certified gluten-free, certified vegan. I don't know what the U means, non-GMO. No. K is kosher. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I don't remember what U is. I don't know. We'll have to Google that one. But yeah. So mm. drinkable soup. I'm not going to try this one right yeah. now. It should probably be cold. Yeah. I do like the packaging though yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. It's like very eye-catching. Mm -hmm. So cool. That's probably good. <clears throat> 
Yeah. Um, the Reed's Ooh. peanut butter ginger candy. I might have had these before, but um, I'm really excited. Have you? Do you think you've had them? I'm confident I haven't had them. Okay. I think I, I at least if I haven't had theirs, I've had a brand similar with a similar flavor. Okay. The packaging is a little weird. I feel like I'm looking like up cigarettes. cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably should have no, done okay. this before we started the video, but that's okay. And are they? Oh, okay. So okay. they're in little serving sizes. They're just like little individual ones. Yeah. So yeah, peanut butter ginger. I don't know. I think I've had it. Or not this, but um, that other popular ginger chew company has like cute little ginger, creepy ginger guy. I don't remember what it's called. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Gingins, oh, maybe? Okay. So yeah, they're like little chewy oh, yeah. pieces. I like ginger and I like peanut butter. Do I like them together? <laughs> Ooh, it's definitely, I got the peanut butter flavor like right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really good. Ginger just like kind of hits you afterwards. As it should. Mm. Yeah, I like it. It's not overpowering. Oh yeah, right at the end there. Mm -hmm. I had a really good ginger beer at Bauhaus yesterday it's from a locally oh. made company called spruce and their ginger beer like has a really nice bite to it because i feel like a lot of the more national change of ginger beers that i get they're really sweet i don't know that i've had a ginger beer before mm. i really like I don't them, like beer. like they're not alcohol i mean oh, then maybe or I they have, have like 0 0.05 percent or something okay. like that but yeah if you're interested in that one yeah so this is basically like a vegan Excuse me, a vegan, um, what is that stuff called? Nutella. Nutella. Yeah. Which I'm so sad isn't vegan because it was delicious. But, um, so this just had, well, there's actually a lot of ingredients, but it's basically just like a chocolate spread, organic hazelnut spread with chocolate. It says 40% less sugar than the leading brand. I'm assuming that they mean. Because it probably has stevia in it. <laughs> oh, does it? <laughs> Uh, but it's from Nutiva. I've had it before. It's really good. No, it's actually. cane sugar. Cane sugar oh, is actually okay. the very first ingredient. Okay. And then cocoa and then some other stuff. Um, you said you've had it? Yes. I've we had don't have to try it if you, because, unless you just want me to. Um, okay. It's really good just on, like, bread. Yeah, I think they have it, like, <laughs> so. on a bagel or crackers or something. Yeah. Hey, Benji. Oh, my gosh. What is he eating? No, nothing. He's trying to get to my ginger chew. <laughs> oh. Let <laughs> just put it back. Let me get it. Okay. Well, at least it's. Whatever you want to do with it. So this one, I don't. This one doesn't really sound good, I think, to either of us. I know, but I think we should try it because oh, <laughs> because <God>. of that. <laughs> so it's it says Monk Pack is the name of the company. It's cute, like chipmunk. And it's an oatmeal fruit squeeze. It's maple pear quinoa, whole grain, vegan, gluten free, non GMO, certified gluten free. So that's that's what that looks like. Um, it's got omega threes and fiber, real fruit. <laughs> yeah, ingredients um, are pretty, pretty good. Like, yeah, nothing crazy. But I, I just want to try it because I just okay. because <laughs> I think I'm gonna hate it, but I want to be proven wrong. Com chipmunk company. Usually, things like these. Usually, it's the texture that. Yeah, and that's like why. Yeah, obvious. but but I like oatmeal and quinoa is good. First? Okay. <laughs> it looks like a paste almost. Oh. It does. Mm -mm. <laughs> No, nope. yep. It's, it's the the pear is the most overpowering taste, and okay. I hate pear. <laughs> but I don't hate it. It just yeah. isn't very. But yeah, good. see, it like comes out like a gel. That looks really. Mine looked mostly. Yours looks a little different than what I tried. Maybe I just got a bunch of pear. The texture isn't as bad as I, as I thought. I hate this word, mm -hmm. but I was expecting it to be more chunky. I was too. But, I get the oatmeal. Yeah. I, yeah, it is kind of like. Would never buy it, but you know, it could be worse. I feel like it's like oatmeal applesauce. Yeah, basically. Yeah, like pear, apple, oatmeal, quinoa. I didn't really get quinoa, but. Okay. Nearing the end. Right. Yes. That looks really yummy. Um, so this is a nutter, I guess. Yugo bars. Hmm. Seems um, pretty. So peanuts, raisins, almonds, organic brown rice syrup, cashews, dried cranberries. Um, how do you say that? Sucanat? Sucanat? Sure. Yeah, flax, black cherry, concentrate, chia seeds, and um, sea salt. Uh, it kind of yes. reminds me of those kind bars. Yeah. Except those usually always have honey in it, so it kind of looks like that. Um, do you want to try it? Sure. Um, let me see. Maybe. Maybe. 
And in the meantime, really the last thing that's in here is organic mangoes dried from mango. Soul Simple, which I love dried mangoes. Yeah, I do too. Like I don't I, I hate mango, but I love yeah. dried mango. It tastes <laughs> like, like a chewy candy. I feel like the the you know raw mango or whatever, like I always get it all stuck in my yeah. teeth because it's so fibrous. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, these I love these. Mm. There you go. And yeah, and it's just organic dried mango. It's fair trade oh, certified. So Nicaragua. Yeah. Super. How do you say that? Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Oh, yeah. So so yeah, right. super simple. Oh, and they, shoot, it it's, fell on the floor. It's like it's from <laughs> small farmers. You're eating that one then. Well, oh, no, I spilled this one. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the a nutter bar. Yeah, so it's just basically like a oh. granola bar. Mm -hmm. Looks good. You can definitely see all the things that are in it, which I always appreciate. Mm hmm Yeah, very Whole Foods-y. Mm-hmm. Mm, it's really good. It's good, yeah. It does remind me of a kind bar. You sound a lot better. Nice. Well, I'm excited to try some of the stuff that I didn't try. Mm-hmm. Especially the jambalaya. I will yeah. have to make that soon. And then this stuff, the Zumba. We'll coast something. I'll leave that with you if you want. <laughs> Get so much protein powder. That's really good. Yeah, that's our vegan, vegan cuts box for the month. <clears throat> Don't they do beauty boxes too? They do. Yeah, I know a couple people. I think, um, I know I've seen Diane from Diane's Vegan Kitchen. Oh, yeah. I think <clears throat> she's done the beauty boxes too. Mm hmm. Um, I'm sure I know some other people, but I like never wear makeup, yeah. so yeah. And I... I'll stick to the snacks. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you, Laura. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for unboxing with yeah, me. Yeah, that was a lot of, a lot of fun. Super <laughs> good. Okay, so this was Laura from One Girl Two Cities. Thanks for watching. Yeah. And Casey from Two City Vegans. Thanks, so yeah, guys. You can go and check out twocityvegans.com. Yes. They have lots of recipes on there, which is really great and some of them are just super simple it's really nice like i'm i always feel like i could actually make them which says a lot because i don't make anything yeah. <laughs> so so yeah and then um maybe we'll be back next month with yes. more